to what's the 411 now. Kizzy has stuff that's popping, but I'm yeah. trying to figure out what's popping. What's popping? Let us know what's popping, girl. I'm okay, that okay. <laughs> I really don't act like that. So what's popping is woke and Hathaway. So you know, she's always been this person who's really you know pro rights and you know being conscious of things. And she chimed in on the whole gun violence you know debate. You know how white people versus black people and they're affected very differently by gun violence. So Anne Hathaway is an actress, as you know, who is white. And um, she was really upset about what happened to Nia Wilson. Remember the young yes. girl who got stabbed to, to death, death by this white, yes. white guy? Mm -hmm. um, so she wrote on her Instagram, she said, in part, white people do not have equivalents for this fear of violence. And she's absolutely right. And even David Hogue, you know, one of the survivors of the Parkland High School massacre in Florida, he said he would use his white privilege to uh, draw attention to the gun violence that's often overlooked in the black and Latino community. So I, I, I applaud both of them Can for doing that. Can you use white privilege though? Like, I know that other people reported about this story and the white privilege part of it, people were like, oh, Black people don't need white people to help them and all this stuff. Well, that's and the thing. So a lot of people are saying that. Like some black people are saying, oh, we don't need white people to help us. We're good. We're good. And other people are like, it's about time white people recognized their role in white supremacy and did something to break it down. So what do you think about it? Where do you stand on the issue? I, I'm perplexed by it because the way I the way I see privilege is, is something that you just ascertain you just have that i don't think that you can take your privilege and make your privilege benefit another outside of you I the privilege is in the mind of the oppressed mm. you know what i'm trying to say so so oh, if you mean i know the oppressor no of the oppressed right they have this privilege because we kind of give it to them white oh you're talking white oh you're doing stuff like white people. i don't think oh, so like, I, that's my thought that's my thought on it. So I don't think that they can use their privilege to benefit anyone because we need to rethink that privilege in our heads. People that don't have the privilege, you need to rethink it. If and that think, makes and sense. And think of it in what way? Like, so black privilege. So just being black, you have a certain kind of privilege. And and if you and if you take that mindset, then then you'll you know you'll you'll take a power back. It's kind of like no, okay, I understand you know what, what you're mean? saying. You're trying, trying to say, say that black people shouldn't be victims and shouldn't have a victim right. mentality. And I don't think they they should and I don't think most do. I don't think that white people But I think that give over their privilege or lend their privilege to highlight something. I, I absolutely think they can and this is why cuz I think that white people not I think white people created the system of white supremacy. They created it. They created this tiered system that said black people were at the bottom, right, they're right, slaves, right. they're they're not mm -hmm. human mm -hmm. and they built all of the systems in this society to benefit to their benefit. You know, even in terms of housing, exclusionary housing, black people go into the ghetto, white people can get loans, um, all of those things. You know, the GI Bill and having right, it right, not, right. Mm -hmm. you know, distributed, systematic, systematic distributed racism. Equally. racism. So systematic right. racism, right? Right. But it's so that, so that I think people need to recognize. So you know, okay, whenever you have conversations with white people who don't recognize their privilege, right? It'll go something like this. Well, I'm poor, I have to struggle, I don't have white privilege. And they don't understand that even if you yeah, have struggled, you do not struggle you don't have the certain, same. Right so, you right. Don't, right, so you don't have certain fears. You're not afraid of the police. Right. You're not afraid Never of, right. That. Or even they've done stories where you have two people, right, with the exact same qualifications. They've even done experiments with this. A black person and a white person. Oh, right, and right. the black mm -hmm. person with the black sounding name will not get called in for an interview. They did it on uh, the and daily the recently. Person. Right. And so these are the privileges that you don't see. That's the thing. Like, like you said, white privilege is something that you just have without ever having worked for it. So it's something where you have to. I don't like, think you know that you what? can still ha give it to someone else. No, no, no. I don't mean. I don't think that or, white or privilege can, means giving it to someone else. I don't else. think it that you can highlight it because you have this. I, I just think that you do. can be mindful well, that you don't. Well, that's what that means. No, that's what that's that means. Not what she's be, that, that is exactly what she's saying. She's like, we don't have the fear of violence, so we have to be mindful of the fact that black people are inhabiting a different space and a different set of circumstances, and we have to do something 
I understand to change what that system. Saying. I, so just, that I can I, agree I, with I, I, I just agree. don't agree with the, the Parkland guy talking about, you know, lending his white privilege. It just, I don't know, it just rubs me the wrong way. Because, right, okay, think about this, right? You know, we've grown up in, you know, our communities, largely black communities. I mean, I know I did definitely. And gun violence affects our communities. We've had this thing called black on black crime, right? Which every community has that currently. Yeah, everybody you has kill, that. White people kill, kill white kill people. Each other, right? <laughs> right. You kill who you know. Exactly. Well, you kill who you date. Actually, <laughs> mostly you kill who you love. Boom, boom. You know what? No, you do right. kill who you love. But we we can go on. That's where Ray Ray went. Did I kill him? She killed him. Like she her. killed him. He dead. But anyway. But I speaking right. of, but I just want to. Okay, okay. Go ahead. Well, that's the thing. So, you know, people have been protesting that for years and years. How many protests have you seen anti gun anti gun violence put down the guns? I know I've seen that well, in my now, communities well, now, many, many times. But and now, it never gets the same type of media attention or anything. And so this, the Parkland High School survivors though, largely white school, well, you can it was show, see show. the difference. And so him saying, you know what, now that we have all of this attention on us, let's also talk about what's happening in black and Latino communities and not forget that they're suffering gun violence too. And so I do think he can use his privilege and all of the attention he's getting to you know, help out in that situation as well. But that doesn't mean- That's not his privilege. But that's that's not, the attention that he is getting. But that's privilege. That's no. a, he's getting the attention because of okay. the privilege in the first place. Okay. So that's why. Well, okay. This is why. Okay, so you know what else is happening, guys? You know why she won't cut me off? But I'm you not. Because but you know what you need Because to do. we can't make this segment like seven minutes. But, but right? what we're gonna do is you guys chime in in the comments in right. our YouTube page and our Facebook. I know page. what I know what the, I read recently that they have bulletproof book bags. Did you know that this Michigan company had was bulletproof? It, was it bulletproof or see through? No, bulletproof book bags. A Michigan uh, a Michigan company, and they're selling them at Target and Walmart. Google it, guys, and let us know what you think about that. So what if they shoot you from the front? Now what you gonna do? Just put your... You know what I'm saying? It's ridiculous. We'll be ridiculous. right back. It's